Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here in the digital studios of Market Club with your midday market report for Tuesday, the 28th of May. Well, we have a very strong market in stocks today and we'll be talking about that plus amazing moves in gold plus the golden boy does it again. So let's go right to our portfolios and see what we're looking at today. So starting with the Dow, the Dow is up currently about 150 points. And we still have that negative daily, which is not such an important element, but it's still negative. It did not change. So let's look at the chart right now on the Dow. So we're looking at a three-month chart, and you can see our trade triangles have been bullish, bullish on the, most, the long term and the intermediate term, and they continue to remain bullish. It's a little bit of a concern where we're going to close today. That's the key thing to me, because if we close towards the bottom end of this range, and it's still an if, um, it would cause some concern that we didn't take out this previous high. But again, this is a strong upward trend. It's been in place since the beginning of the year, and you should be very careful with it. So let's see how we close today at 4 o'clock in the market. So here again, this is the NASDAQ not looking quite so spiffy. Again, we have the weekly and the monthly still positive on the trade triangles, but the daily is negative. Also, we're getting down towards the lower part of the range, and we could potentially, if we go through 3,496, uh, we could actually be making new lows for the day, which is not a particularly good sign given the scope of this market. So I'd be very, very careful uh, about getting too enthusiastic about being long stocks at this point in time. So caution is the byword here. Looking at the S&P 500, much the same picture there. Did not make a new high. In fact, it would be very hard for this market to close higher uh, for a new high for the year. But nonetheless, the trend is your friend and it's still positive. But be careful there. Looking at today's stock, bling bling, that's Tiffany reported better than expected earnings jumped up to new highs 80 over 81 in fact 81.25 but we're tra trading right now at 78.68 so a lot of people took profits on this market and it's a little bit discouraging when you have a market open and then close or come down and make new lows for the day so a lot of profit taking coming into this market in tiffany so let's just put a couple of things on the chart our studies that we like to look at the dodge and trade channels of course we're way out of the channel um, and also our parabolic so again the market has re-upped itself, came back to the midpoint of the channel, which is pretty normal for uh, stocks to do. And now we're way up on the high end of the channel. I would expect we'd see some more backing and filling before this market resumes its upward trend. Gold. Gold's been a very interesting day today. And really pay close attention to this because a couple of things. One, look where the parabolic is. And the parabolic is what we're talking about is very, very close to getting elected. Uh, and a move today uh, probably over the 1400 level, which is unlikely but still possible, would trigger this and indicate that prices are going higher. So I, I really want to watch that very, very carefully. But we are overbought. You can see uh, right here on our indicator, the fast stochastic is overbought, and we are fast approaching this particular line. So if we go over there, uh, it would indicate perhaps the downward trend, at least for the moment, is down. And we're sort of getting into this very, very wide trading range. And that's the that's the key. So we're sort of going back. Maybe we'll go back like that. But nonetheless, it's a very broad trading range. But nonetheless, the trend is your friend. And the trend is clearly down for gold right now. And uh, I think that's going to remain this story as providing that the market, the stock market, continues to go higher. So let's move on to crude oil. Crude oil is enjoying a big jump today. And uh, we're July in the July crude oil. And you can see it's up well. It's up almost 1.5% on the day. And all of our trade triangles, we trade on the weekly and the daily. So our trade triangles, I'll put the dailies in, boom, right here. You can see the daily kicked in. At 94.39, we're currently trading at 95.15. So you want to be long this market based on our trade triangles. We have a 50 reading, which means it's sort of like a trading range. And again, like gold, you've got a similar situation. And the similar situation here is you're really going sort of, you've got this really sort of trading range like this, uh, which is really kind of, creating the creating a, a trading range as opposed to a real super trend so I would say if we were to move out over the uh, the highs here again if we were to take out the high that we saw right here around the 9750 area I would say you're off to the races and we're going to go a lot higher because you you leave a very large base in this market what's going to drive that I don't know I really don't know at this point in time but 
things do change and you have black swan events that actually can drive these markets to new highs. So let's go to our next market. And the next market we're going to be looking at is going to be the euro. Now the euro is actually sort of came down we had a sell signal there again today at uh, 12883 that's we use our dailies on there all of our trade triangles are negative and I can't imagine the euro going higher I really given the state of things in Europe uh, I can't imagine the euro going high but again you have the similar situation where you have a kind of like a a very large sort of very wide trading range like this right now maybe you can tighten it up Livable. But that's the trading range we've been in since really March of uh, this year. And I think it's going to stay like that uh, until we clearly break, let's say, below the 128 level. I think that's going to push this market down to the 120 area. So let's see how that plays out. But generally speaking, you want to look at the, the trade triangles are. They're all currently in a very negative mode, indicating prices should be going lower. So let's go to our next market. And uh, let me get the right tool out here. Next market we're looking at is Tesla. Now, we talked about Tesla before, and we're talking about it again. And here's a classic example of a really strong market. Let me just get my tools on here to draw this on the screen. So really you have, you can see right now we get long at 32.78. That's when the major trend turned up. We're currently trading at 105, so we've got some very, very nice profits. So here's here's the, the market moves up, it has a little pullback like that, almost like a little flag formation. We break up again, and this is on Thursday, last Thursday. This is Friday, so new highs closes for the weekend. Boom, we're up to new highs here, 105.18. Looks like everybody loves this stock, and if you like this stock, you're also going to love this other stock. Now, Tesla's like the Steve Jobs of electricity, and this is where you are going to see this market really shine. So let's just go to our next market. This is Solar City. Now he happens to sit on, and he's a chairman of this. He's run by his two cousins that manage this. But the reality is, this is Solar City, and you can see if we just take our weeklies and monthlies, you can see from the weeklies came in at 13, even, and we're currently trading at 49. Big profits in here. The last uh, weekly we have was 20, monthly rather, 20. So you're up 150% on that position. So again, these are strong trends that are in this market right now. So the trend is your friend. Don't fight the trends. It's like standing in front of a market. And we'll be talking about Yahoo a little later on. And has Marissa Myers big bet on the Tumblr working out. So I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon. Every success in the market. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful.